What's going on guys? This is going to be a short video teaching you how to burn Kali Linux into a USB and you want to head over to download on Kali.org and then you want to choose which version you'd like. Personally, I went with the 64 bit since my system handles 64 bits. Now, depending on what you want, the light version, there's other versions available. So choose whatever is your liking and then you need a software to burn into the USB. I'm gonna go with Rufus. I've always used this for many years. They are currently in version 3.8. So you just wanna download that, save it. There we go. Now plug in the USB into your computer and let me open this up there we go now once you've done that you're gonna have to select the ISO file from Kali Linux just like that and you can put whatever name you'd like and interesting the last time I have used Rufus it was quite different and now they just made everything more simple so you just want to hit start and if it says right in ISO mode you want to do OK all data will be destroyed I know I know so let's hit OK and we're gonna let it burn that into the USB sad to say the last time I've used Kali Linux it was called Backtrack and I think it was Backtrack 4 so this may be 5 I, I don't even wanna know but it's definitely 5 years since I've been using Slackware Linux a ton but yeah let's let that burn and we'll be right back once it's finished all right so we finished burning up the USB it should be bootable now let's put it on the computer and try it out I don't know the boot key, so let's see how it goes. Oh, there it is. Man, it's been a while. Am I happy to see this screen? Ooh. Just in time for the new year. Oh, this looks sick. That's the progress bar. Okay, okay. Oh, baby. Oof, this looks spicy. Oof, I love it. I guess it would be cool if I did kind of like my initial thoughts on it. So let's take a second to go through some of the menus and the settings. So let's see. Oh wait, why isn't it showing on screen? Oh, I see. Hold on. So if I go display, let me try this. Oh, uh, there we go. It was showing my secondary monitor and that's why it wasn't actually capturing anything. So what about the other stuff? Internet, we are already connected. Then we have the sound. This I am guessing. Oops, what did I do here? Did I lock it? I think I locked out, right? Oh. Okay, let's see if the password changed. It should be tour, right? Boom! <laughs> see, I still remember five years later. And here's all the menus. Information gathering. A lot of stuff I remember. Vone assessment. Web apps. Ooh, I'm, I know there's going to be a video on this testing my own blog. That's probably what I'll do next. 
database assessment. Ooh, I used to love SQL map. Man, this is bringing back a lot of good memories. Off crack. There's so, so, so many good things in here. Oof, this is like enough for like hundreds of videos. So you guys better be ready. A Metasploit framework. God damn. So much good stuff. But yeah, I think this is going to be it for today for this video. I'll probably do another video with my first impressions and my desktop setup and all of that. So till then, see you next time.